Hello, friends, and welcome to Storytime On Demand. I am so happy that you're here. Today, we're gonna learn a little bit, and the topic, I'm gonna let you guess, okay? I want you to look at the picture and try to guess. Hmm, what does that look like to you? It's a little bit tricky based on the shape, right? Kinda looks like a house, but our story time is not about houses today. Now, I'm gonna give you some more hints. Look at that, that is a chalkboard. And what else can we have? Some pencils. Are you getting a hint? Hmm, what else should we add? Oh, a yellow bus. Do you know what our story time's gonna be about? How about we add a sound? And I want you to listen and see if that can help give you a hint. Does that sound like anything to you? So we have this funny shape kind of looks like a house, so something that you go into. And we have a chalkboard, we have a school bus, we have some pencils, and we have that ringing sound, right? It is, do you know? A school! And if you don't go to school, usually they use a bell to let you know that it's time to go to your class, so that's a school bell. So even if you aren't in school yet, you might have a sibling or a cousin or know somebody that is in school. And maybe you do go to school and that's awesome. We are gonna do a story time that's all about school. So that should be a lot of fun, right? Before we get started though with our first book about a school, we are going to do a little game together, okay? We are going to pretend we are an alligator. So you're gonna put your hands together I go like this. And we're gonna do a quick little ABC thing. So not the full alphabet, but just a little ABC song, ready? A is for alligator, chomp, chomp, chomp. Can you chomp? A is for alligator, chomp, chomp, chomp. B is for ball, and we're gonna bounce. So I want you to jump up and down. You're gonna bounce, bounce, bounce. And C is for circle. Can you spin around in a circle? I'm sitting down, but pretend I'm spinning in a circle. Fast as you can, spin, 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 spin. And D is for dizzy. Oh, sit back down. We are gonna do our first story right now. Woo! This book is called School's First Day of School. That summer, they dug up the big field and poured the foundation and set brick on top of brick until they built a school. A sign above the door read Frederick Douglass Elementary. That's a good name for me thought the school. Most days a man named Janitor came to mop the school and buff his floors and wash his windows. This is nice. The school said to the janitor, just the two of us. Won't be just us for long, said the janitor. Soon the teachers will come and then you'll be filled with children. The school creaked, children? All kinds of children. They'll come to play games and to learn. Oh, said the school, will you be here? You'll see me after the school day is over, said janitor. Don't worry, you'll like the children. But the school thought that the janitor was probably wrong about that. Then they came, the children did, and there were more of them than the school could have possibly imagined. They got everywhere. They opened and closed all of his doors and lockers and drank the water from his fountains and played on his jungle gym. So that's what that's for, thought the school. Some of the older kids gathered by the school's back fence and showed each other their bored faces. This place stinks, said one, and the school gasped. I hate school, said another with puffy hair to agreement with his friends. The school sagged a little. One very small girl with freckles didn't want to come inside the school at all. Her mother had to carry her. I must be awful, the school whispered to himself. Later, he squirted the puffy-haired kid in the face. Then he felt bad about it afterwards. He watched the kindergarten kid sit on one of his rugs. The teacher said, as we go around the circle, please tell us your name. There was an Aiden, and a Max, and a Bella, and another Aiden, and an Emma, and a Caden, and a Chloe. The small girl with the freckles was next, but she wouldn't speak. 
She only stared at her shoes, and so the teacher moved on. I don't like school, she whispered into her lap. Well, thought the school, maybe it doesn't like you either. The children were in their chairs, finally. But just as school was starting to relax, his fire alarm sounded, and all the children exited and walked to the other side of the field and stared at him. He was so embarrassed. He held open his doors for them when they returned. Sorry, he said, as the first child entered. Sorry, 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 he told them all, even the girl with the freckles. At 12 o'clock, the school was filled with food. At 12.30, the school was filled with garbage. At one table, a boy told a funny joke, and another boy laughed so hard that milk came out of his nose. Now I'm covered with nose milk, thought the school. He had to admit that it was a pretty funny joke, though. Even the girl with the freckles liked it. After lunch, the kindergarten kids learned about shapes. A rectangle has four sides, said the teacher. One, two, three, four. And a square has four sides, too. In fact, a square is actually a special kind of rectangle. Wow, said the school. I did not know that. Afterward, the girl made, oh, afterward, the children made pictures with glitter and paste. The girl with freckles made a picture of the school. It looks just like me, thought the school, except glittery. It's like she's known me all my life. Do you think I can have your picture? The teacher asked her. Don't tell anyone, but I think it's the best. The school thought she was probably right about that. The freckled girl smiled when the teacher stuck her drawing onto the school wall with a push pen. Ouch, said the school but he didn't really mind. At three o'clock, the parents came to pick up the children. At 3.30, janitor came to pick up the school. It was full of kids, the school told him, and I heard a joke, and I accidentally had a fire drill, but everyone was nice about it, and I listened to the cl a classroom, and I learned about shapes. You had a big day, said the janitor. Do you think, the school said, do you think... You could invite everyone to come back tomorrow, especially that little freckled girl. Janitor nodded. I'll see what I can do. Later, Janitor sat on top of the school, and they watched the sun go down. In the beginning, I didn't know what I was, said the school. I thought I was your house. No, nope, said Janitor. I, I suppose some other place gets to be your house, the school added. Janitor, nod Janitor nodded. That's true, but you get to be a school. That's lucky. And the school thought that he was probably right about that. The end. Do you guys know the alphabet song? How about we try singing it together? Ready? And we'll look right here. You'll see the alphabet right next to us with all the letters, okay? A, B, C, G, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? <gasps> what is that? Is that a little doggy? <gasps> There's a dog in the school. Oh no, what are we going to do? Well, as long as there's a dog in the school, he'll sing his alphabet too. Wanna sing? <laughs> Very, very good. That was funny. What was a dog doing in the school? And what is this now? There's a duck in the school. Oh no, what are we going to do? Well, if there's a duck in the school, she'll have to sing her alphabet too. Quack, 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 quack. Wow, that was silly. A dog and a duck. What could possibly come? Gator. Oh no, there's a gator in the school. What are we going to do? Well, if there's a gator in the school, he'll have to sing the alphabet too. Jump, 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 jump. 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 Jump, jump, 
jump, jump, jump, jump, jump, jump, jump, jump, jump, jump, jump, jump. Very good, all you animals. Let's try that one more time, just as us. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? This is called the King of Kindergarten. The morning sun blares through your window like a million brass trumpets. It sits and shines behind your head like a crown. Mommy says that today you are going to be the king of kindergarten. You'll use a golden brush to clean ye royal chiclets. You'll wash your own face with a cloth bearing the family crest. You'll dress yourself neatly in hand-picked garments from the far-off villages of Osh and Kosh. But gosh, you'll be ready to reign. My baby is heading to school, Mommy will say during breakfast. But you're not a baby. Could a baby wolf down a tower of pancakes the way that you can? I don't think so. You're growing up so fast, Daddy will say, and he'll be right. I can't stay the same size forever, can I? You'll say. One day, I'll be taller than you, Daddy, and you'll be my little man. Daddy will laugh, but you won't be joking. Then a big yellow carriage will deliver you to a grand fortress. As you walk up to the towering doors, you'll remember mommy saying, hold your head high and greet everyone with a brilliant, beaming, majestic smile, for you are the king of kindergarten. Your teacher will welcome you with a warm smile and a friendly good morning. She'll be delighted with how, by how you recite your name with pride. When you head to your royal seat, the kids at your round table will wave and say hi, like they've been waiting on you all summer. So you smile back, return the wave, and give everybody a cheerful, hi everybody. The truth is, you couldn't wait to meet your kindergarten kingdom either. Your teacher will go over classroom rules, and you'll all discuss important matters such as shapes, the alphabet, and the never-ending mystery of numbers. She'll even read a book about trucks, trains, and tractors. Whew, sounds like a lot, but you're the king of kindergarten. Piece of cake. You will show your bravery at recess when you go up one of, to one of your classmates and ask, Marie, do you want to play with me? Not only will she say yes, but she'll lead the way in helping you save the kingdom by battling a fire-breathing dragon. In the cafeteria, the boy sitting next to you will be missing dessert. You'll have packed your favorite, a chocolate pudding with an extra cup just in case. So you'll say to him, want pudding, Howie? He'll say thanks, and you won't mind at all, because what could be cooler than sharing with new friends? After a royal rest, you'll arise to sing and dance and bop to a rhythmic beat. The day will be one you never forget. At the end of it, your teacher will wish you all a magnificent evening and bid you farewell until dawn. On your way back home, you'll think of all the things you can't wait to tell your parents. I made a bunch of new friends, my teacher is nice, and recess is the best thing ever. And tomorrow, it will begin again. Another day as the charming, the wonderful, and the kind king of kindergarten. The end. When you go to school, sometimes you may be picked up by a big yellow school bus. The bus driver will encourage you to buckle up while they drive you to school. On your way to school, you can chat with friends, read, or look out the window. When you go to school, you'll learn about different topics, like science, math, and you'll learn how to read and write. One of the best parts about school is that you can see your friends and play at recess. There's so many fun things to do at school. is a wonderful place to help you learn and grow. 
This is called Llama Llama Mrs. Mama. Llama Llama warm in bed, wakey wakey sleepy head. Llama school begins today. Time to learn and time to play. Make the bed and find some clothes. Brush the teeth and blow the nose. Eat some breakfast, clean the plate. Whoops, oh my, we're running late. Drive to, school and par drive to school and park the car. Tell your teacher who you are. Meet new faces, hear new names, see new places, watch new games. Hang the coat and say goodbye. Llama Llama feeling shy. Llama, Mama Llama goes away. Llama Llama has to stay. Strange new teachers, strange new toys. Lots of kids and lots of noise. What would Llama like to do? Llama Llama feels so new. Build a castle out of blocks. Make a rocket from a box. Llama Llama shakes his head. Llama walks away instead. Here's a little chug -a chew with a captain and a crew. Would the llama like a ride? Llama Llama tries to hide. Reading stories on the rug. Kids are cuddled, sitting snug. Would the llama like to look? Llama Llama hates that book. Time for lunch. Now find a seat. Llama doesn't want to eat. Llama makes a little moan. Llama Llama feels alone. Llama misses Mama so. Why did Mama Llama go? It's too much for little Llama. Llama Llama misses Mama. Don't be sad, new little Llama. It's okay to miss your Mama. But don't forget when the day is through, she will come right back to you. Llama, Llama, please don't fuss. Have some fun and play with us. Put on coats and run outside. See the playhouse, try the slide. Tag and jump rope, hide and seek. Close your eyes and do not peek. Now it's time to draw and write. Great big crayons, colors bright. Take some paper from the stack. Mama Llama, you came back. Teacher gets a goodbye hug. Wave to friends on reading rug. Climb the playhouse with the slide. See if Mama fits inside. Lots to show and lots to say. Back again another day. Llama finds out something new. He loves Mama and school too. The end. Before we end today's story time, I want to do one more song that you probably know but it's gonna be a little bit different. We're gonna do a song about a school bus. So we are gonna do the wheels on the bus, but instead of just the wheels on the bus, we're gonna do the wheels on the school bus. So when we sing, it's gonna be a little bit different. So you're gonna know a lot of things from this song, Wheels on the Bus, but we're gonna change it up just a bit so it makes sense for school. First thing I want you to do is get your wheels ready, right? That's what we're gonna start with, here we go. The wheels on the school bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the school bus go round and round on the way to school. The, instead of people, we're going to do the kids. The kids on the school bus go up and down, up and down, up and down. The kids on the school bus go up and down on the way to school. The wipers on the school bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the school bus go swish, swish, swish on the way to school. The horn on the school bus goes beep, 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 beep. The horn on the school bus goes beep, beep, beep on the way to school. How about the driver of the bus. How about we do bus driver and instead of saying move on back, let's make them a little friendlier and we'll say, how are you? The bus driver says, how are you? How are you? How are you? The bus driver says, how are you? On the way to school. And we're gonna finish up with the wheels on the school bus go round and round, round and round. Round and round, the wheels on the school bus go round and round on the way to school. Thank you guys for being a part of my story time. I hope to see you soon. Bye.